Hello and most welcome to yet another trusting, exacting and of course very informative edition of uh, Issues and Society. My name is Uluashi Fumi Additional and of course like I do promise on a weekly basis, I will not stop bringing to you a very very interesting politicians, professionals as well as captain of video on this program and this week will not be an exception. Today I have a very very important personality, a man that I personally have a very high level of respect for. I refer to him as an icon of hope, a man of steady qualities with monumental accomplishment and of course a broad-banded general man. My guest for today is no other than the Executive Governor of Kano State. Ladies and gentlemen, please do join me in welcoming Dr. Rabi Umusa Kwakoso. Sir, you're welcome to do sir. Thank you very much. I'm not, I'm not just, don't just as a pedigree. Who is Dr. Musa Basu? <laughs> well, um, thank you very much. Um, well, uh, let's just look at it uh, politically from the time I left civil service after 17 years in 1991. Uh, that year, I retired from civil service and joined politics. And by 1992, I won an election from my constituency of the local government as a member of the House of Representatives. And at the same year, I was elected the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives under the SDP then. Of course, uh, it was uh, voted public by 1994 when uh, General Sani Abacha uh, decided to call for the Constitutional Conference, I also contested uh, and uh, I was elected to become the delegate of the Constitutional Com Conference 94-95. That was why we formed so many associations. Um, that time I was very close to General Shoh Musa Radwa and together with him we founded what uh, was then called PDM. Unfortunately PDM was not registered as a party and uh, we sat down here in Kano and decided to join DPM. Under uh, that party and under my leadership we were able to uh, that was during the, when we had local government election. We had more local governments in the state uh, than all the other parties put together. Even though DPN was not favored at that particular time by the powers at Abu Jala. But the good people of Kano State came out and voted for our party. Of course, immediately after the death of the Jerusalem Abacha, the head of state then, uh, other parties were formed, and here we decided to join the uh, PDP. Of course, we had what we call receivers here in Kano. Uh, we sat down together and uh, midwived PDP in Kano State. And, uh, I was a candidate, a governorial aspirant, and then I was elected uh, to become the candidate of our party. And then from there, of course, I won election to become the first uh, civilian governor under this uh, uh, republic, the fourth republic. Of course, we all know what happened in 19, I mean, 2003, there was an election and uh, PDP lost the election, especially the rhetorical. And of course, we took it in, faith, in, good, in good faith. And uh, I'm sure I remember that I was the first and probably the only governor who lost the election and went to the person who was declared winner to congratulate him. I went to his house in 2003 to congratulate him and wish him well. And uh, I packed my things to Abuja, and I was appointed Minister of Defense. I was there until 2007, 
where I resigned and contested primary election here. I won the election, but along the line, my leaders, the party leaders, decided to uh, ask me to step aside, which I did. And we selected a candidate who we all know very well that won the election, but for whatever reason, he was not given the seat. So also, uh, in 2011, I was among those who contested for uh, the seat of governor in Kano. I won the primary election and of course the secondary election. And I have gone through all the courts, right from the tribunal to appeal court and then to Supreme Court. And uh, all the judges were unanimous that PDP won election in Kano. So in the last uh, maybe 21 years or so, from 91 to date, I contested 12 elections, uh, primary and secondary elections. Uh, and uh, out of 12, I won 11 and lost one. Remember that uh, when we were contesting election, we had no local governments, we had no state government, we, even federal government was not sure whether I would win. In fact, there were more of who would not win than who would win. So you could imagine the sort of support we received from them. At that time, that's our first time we were feeding all our primary pupils. We were giving them two sets of info, all those who are in, uh, uh, going into primary one. Not only that, we had uh, free antenatal care services in all the government hospitals. We are the first to start it in this country. In fact, we received so many awards on that. Now we had so many programs and projects to the extent that the young men or young children that were in going into primary school and those who were, especially those who are in class six, class five, and so on, by 2011, they are already 18. And uh, all these young men and women who have benefited from what we did during our first time came out en masse and voted for our party. We had another very uh, useful project or program that was the uh, poverty alleviation for women. We were selecting 40 women every month from all the 44 local governments to train them and we are giving them 5,000 naira free of charge as capital. Now, this time around, we came back in a much bigger way. Like this woman, we were selecting 1,000 women. We selected 1,000 times 44 in local women, 44,000. And I'm happy to tell you, all of them have gone through this program of training and retraining in various areas, especially uh, food handling and many other things and each one of them was given 10,000 naira free of charge to go and start businesses. I'm sure those of you from diaspora will begin to wonder what uh, uh, 10,000 can do. You may think it's very small but 10,000 naira in my village and uh, even in the city here can go a long way in assisting women who are selling food can buy a bag of rice and get enough money to go and purchase other things that she can start her business. And I'm happy to say that the first set was being, uh, we were being assisted by Ali Kotangote, who is an indigenous of Kano, who has given us uh, 440 million naira to give this 10,000 10, naira to various uh, uh, women. And of course, now we are working with him to see how we can do the second batch. Now, we have done so much uh, in areas of poverty alleviation and so on and so forth. But um, under the poverty alleviation and of course education, we have now set up, or in the process of setting up 20 institutions. Uh, some of them, in fact many of them have already started uh, operation. Uh, we have the Poultry Institute, which is in Ambata. We have started, uh, we had first set of 200 graduated, second set, 200 again graduated. By next week, we are starting the third batch of 
another 200 in addition to all this. We have what we call Interpreneurial Development Institute. We are, it has its permanent site in the Kentofano government, but we are using temporary site now because we don't have any time to waste. Now we have graduated first set 200 of uh, people who have gone some kind of training in health sector, especially a school of health technology and so on, uh, school of hygiene. Uh, we have about 6,000 of them who are jobless in the state. Now we are taking, we are taking a set of 200 who have finished 400 now. We are going into the third batch. Uh, then we are starting also next week. And all those who have gone through uh, that training, we are given 150,000 now, 50,000 free of charge to go and rent a shop in their locality, and 100. Uh, thousand naira was given to them in kind by way of giving them certain basic drugs for them to go and start businesses. And uh, we are taking every opportunity to advertise for them. And I can assure you, people believe in them here in the state, right from the villages to towns to Kano City. Everybody now goes to Lafia Jari to purchase his medicine because we are lucky that we are working in partnership with some international organizations in bringing in uh, drugs worth billions of naira, and we are selling these drugs to them at a very much subsidized price and also they are selling it to the general public at a reasonable price. That kind of informatics. We had our first set last year. We have just had our second set now. Uh, uh, in the state and uh, last year we had 204 students this year about 207 and uh, we are now at Mustafa Muhammad Library if you have time you can pop in and see the young men and, and uh,